Some of the most common difficulties we see in communications is reliability, functionality, and ultimately interoperability with other forms of communication. On our EMS calls, we have now transitioned to using Bluetooth and internet connection to transmit EKGs to our hospitals. When we get a cardiac call, our initial goal is to go and to get a cardiac or EKG read on our patient. Having that information in the doctor's hands within minutes of being on the scene can ultimately save a life. Call comes in, we, we get dispatched for the possible heart attack. We go, we get on scene. How's it going, ma'am? What's going on today? Walked up the stairs. EKGs in the field are very critical. It's letting us know what the patient's heart is doing. And it's very advanced now where we could basically look at it and forward that onto the hospital. And from there, they could determine whether their cardiac cath lab needs to be activated. They could tell the, the physician at the ER what, what's going to be coming in so that they could be prepared also. And it, it just cuts down time and uh, prepares them for treatment. Currently, in our ambulance, we're using FirstNet, which helps us transmit whatever we're seeing on the screen to the ER. We had a man at uh, one of our facilities in town here, and we got called out for the cardiac arrest. Um, CPR in progress, and I was actually the second ambulance on scene. About halfway to the hospital, he, um, he did come back with a positive pulse on our monitor. Um, actually, we come to find out that he had survived his cardiac arrest and the hospital was able to stabilize him. So within one week later, the patient walked into our firehouse and said thank you for everything we had done. So just having the reliability of FirstNet makes or breaks a call.